Hi, my name is Chris Borowski. I'm the Export Manager in Smash Poland. Today, I would like to talk to you about how to prepare this KDD 912 to work. First, we need to attach the machine to the tractor. To do so, we need to hook up lower link arms and then connect the top link. With this top link, we will be able to adjust our cutting height. Next step would be installation of PTO shaft. You need to remember that PTO shaft may be too long and in some cases needs cutting. Detailed instructions how to cut PTO shaft can be found in operator's manual. Once we have the machine attached to the tractor, PTO is cut and installed. The next step would be hook up hydraulic hose. Next thing is to tie those transport latch cords. Machine is attached to the tractor, hydraulics is plumbed in. Next step is to bring those support stands up. After that, we need to set lower links for 50 centimeters, which is a feet and eight inches from the ground to the pin. KDD 912 has a hydraulic breakaway device here. All the settings on those two valves are factory set. Any interference with those settings may lead to machine damage and losing warranty. This setup here features spring suspension. Cutting units are suspended centrally and the ground pressure is set by those support springs. Retracting or extending those springs sets the ground pressure. This double-sided machine has got two big cylinders. They bring the machine to transport position. Choke valves installed here set drop speed of cutting units. As a daily maintenance, we need to remember about greasing the machine. All the grease points are marked with this decal here. In this double-sided setup, power is transferred through PTO shafts via intersecting gearboxes to the cutting units. Every gearbox in Samish machinery is oil operating. Has a breather at the top, check plug here and drain plug from the bottom. We recommend to change the oil after first 50 hours and then after 500 hours or at least once a year. Oil used in those gearboxes is 80 way 90. This setup here has got three PTO shafts. The main one, which has no clutch, and two side ones. They have friction clutch installed. In this setup, KDD 912 is equipped with a simplified control panel. KDD with the control panel has a approach sensor here, says the headland height. KDD 912 with simplified control panel has a RPM sensor installed on the gearbox. If you drop your RPMs, it will tell you on the control panel in the cab. Machine is hooked up to the tractor, hydraulic is connected. The next step would be to put those protective canvas on. We strap it down from the underside and we secure it with turnbuckles from the top. Protective canvas is on, and we have those pockets here. 
Those pockets on both sides of the cutting unit are for optional SWAT guides. A standard machine doesn't have them installed. We are almost done. The last step would be to unfold those side guards. KDD mowers equipped with the control panel have only one hydraulic hose. Control of the left hand side or right hand side section is done through the, this hydraulic block on the control panel from the tractor's cab. In machine toolbox you will find this special spanner. It's used to hold nuts in places where a regular spanner won't fit. When we have a lot of material or really tall crop, we can lift the front guard up to increase machine cutting performance. So we finally got to the field and we want to drop the machine down and start cutting. First thing we need to disengage transport latch by pulling this cord here. We have the machine on the ground. This diode here indicates that the machine is in operation mode. So it means that the solenoid valves and the sensors are engaged. Remember that during operation machine needs to be in float. So this is the basic control panel with seven buttons here. But with this particular machine model, we will only use five of them. Those two top buttons are to set the pressure independently on one or, or another cutting unit, but with the machine with a hydropneumatic suspension. This unit is a spring suspended machine, so we won't be needing those two. This button here is for transport mode. We press it, we hit the hydraulics and the machine will go up, up to a transport position. Pressing the button again will switch to operational mode, indicated by this diode here. When we want to lock the machine at the headland position, we can use those two buttons here. We can lock two units in headland position or we can do it separately, one by one. With those two buttons here, you can operate each cutting unit independently. So, this button here is for transport mode. Those buttons here are used to lock cutting unit in handland position. Those two buttons here are to operate each cutting unit independently and the two top buttons are for machines with hydropneumatic suspension to put the pressure into the system. We've got two buttons because we've got two separate cir circuits. Thank you for your attention. I hope that our videos are a small help with the daily use of Samash machines. Remember, in case of any doubts or concerns, always consult operator's manual or contact Samash directly. Thank you.